face with my hair so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we both are dead. I think we have yeah. I, I couldn't believe that. I I knew the picture that I had something in my head about the whole thing because that day we got back really late. It was my wife's birthday and I got right in there. <laughs> and so I knew the date exactly. And then the next day there was a picture on the front of the echo of the, of the thing. But when Richard said he was the man. Well, when, he showed, when I was looking at him in my house and he went through different photos, picking up people's pictures, didn't he? And like he said, we've been trying to find this man over here. This is me. Well, a bit. Obviously, I'm not always right saying it politely. Where I've got, obviously, we've been stopped. And I, I, at some time, I knew I was going to go because I was so actively involved in the front. I had a few clips. We all did. Now we give a few clips back. But then, obviously, the numbers are starting to overwhelm us. And they knew they had a job to do. They had to get in, like get a wedge, and make an opening because that bus, they couldn't leave the bus at all the time because the boys were gone for the, to let the tyres down. I don't know if you don't know Mark any any grudge against it. I, I'm I'm really like pleased that you, you did it. To be honest, I mean I've never until I saw the picture, I've never really thought you know that there was somebody else involved in that whole thing. But the big thing there, and the reason I contacted Richard was I wanted something from that from day. that era, yeah, and, yeah. and I tried and tried to get back issues of the South Wales Echo and you just, you just couldn't because I knew there was a picture somewhere. Yeah. It's just it's part of your part of your life, isn't it? It's an important part of your life. I mean that is the biggest police thing that there's ever been over the whole country. This was sustained for 12 months. Mm -hmm.